the voltaic pile. I've been playing around with the voltaic pile now for a couple of days. I've been really liking the idea of just being able to generate electricity just with literally just a couple pieces of metal and some salt water. And I really like that idea. And today we're gonna to be taking that to the next level. We're gonna be making a nice big old size battery. It's pretty much these materials right here. Actually, these materials right here. All right, let's get at it. So this is pretty much all the materials that I'm gonna need for this build. I just have a piece of wood for the base to really just hold all of the individual cells. These are gonna be the cups that I'm gonna be using for each of the individual cell. I'm going to use this like intense hot glue gun. It's actually got two levels. It's got a low and a high. I've always wanted one like this. And I'm gonna be gluing these cups to it. There's 20 cups right here, so I'm gonna have 20 cells. And then inside of each of the cup, there's gonna be a lead. Each of these is gonna be inside of the water. It's gonna be salt water. And these are gonna be attached to a wire. So maybe the white wire and the red wire right here. Then I'm gonna string them all up and we're gonna get a nice little voltage across of it. And we're gonna be able to see what we can do with it. But this is gonna be kind of a proof of concept, just a lot of fun and making a nice little kind of salt water battery. So let's have some fun with it. All right, so I have all the little tiny solo cups all glued on here, so they're not gonna be knocking around, otherwise this thing would have been a mess. It seems that the glue's sticking nice and well. I could probably pick it up by it. Sweet. So, very cool. The next thing is I need to cut a whole bunch of lengths of wire and make a whole bunch of these connections on it. Be wrapping wire around this and wrapping wire on this. Each of these are gonna be inside of one of there. So let's uh, get it going. All right, let's start cutting some wire. So the next thing is, we gotta strip a lot of wires.
I'm going to begin to, I guess, wrap up the copper wire. I'm just going to use the red wire because it looks nice against uh, the little solo cup. So I'm literally just going to take it and just do a couple loops around the loop itself. You can pull it through. So one, and we're just going to wrap them. All right, I just finished kind of wiring up all of these zinc washers. You can see this one's got a lot of its coating missing because I was using it to experiment the other day. But this should be enough for what I'm doing. And um, pretty much, instead of having to use these brass bits, I'm actually going to just uh, simple it down, simplify it down to just using the copper wire instead. And what I'm going to do is just give it a bend. And then that's going to be the bridge between each of uh, the little cells. So I'm going to give them a little bend, and we're going to have it go all the way around. So we're going to start from over here. And this way, and then I guess I will use one extra wire, and this will be for the other kind of terminal. So honestly, this is the whole circuit right here. You have one of these elements with the zinc on the one end and the copper in the other, kind of going from each cup to each cup. The next thing is, I'm going to fill it up with some salt water, and then we're going to start reading some voltages on it. All right, I got it all wired up, watered up, got the zinc and copper wires. It's hooked up to my multimeter. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Set it to DC volts, moment of truth. Boom, getting around 15.7 volts from this. This is like a 20 little cup cells, super simple. And yeah, it just shows you that you can kind of make energy with a very simple and really eco-friendly way. I'm just a huge fan of this. I think it's a great idea and I think it's fantastic. You can literally create some voltage from literally just some zinc and some copper and some salt water. Nothing toxic, nothing terrible, and just super easy, super simple. Anyone can do it. It's just such a cool little project. Yeah, I just wanted to see what could happen and imagine if you made multiples and multiples of these, you could just stack these up and you could get literally a crazy amount of voltage from this, which would be pretty fun and maybe I could do that in a future project. But this is just a proof of concept to just see what voltage I would get from like a 20 cell little thing of this. Anyways, I hope this video taught you something. I hope you learned something. I hope you got a little bit more curious and hopefully you can experiment as well. I just want to say thanks for stopping by everyone. Stay positive, stay hungry for knowledge and I'll catch you on the next one. And you can see the light itself is lighting up. I'm lifting it out of the water. I'm going to put it in 
And if you notice when I lift it out and when I put it in, it has an initial like dark or I guess light burst. But if you just hold it in the water, it will stay lit, constantly glowing. It's just a very light hum. There's some voltage, but not a lot of current, but still very cool.